Hey everybody, this is Reef Huron, and today we're going to be playing a game called Harvester. Um, I've actually seen, I, I watched this a while ago when Cinnamon Toast Ken was playing it, and it looked really fun, it looked really cool, and then I forgot about it for a while, and then I found it on Steam because it was on sale, and I don't know, I just wanted to try it. Um, so I know it's a point and click kind of adventure game, and it gets really weird and gory. Uh, anyway, we can click on stuff and examine it. Can I? Okay. An empty acne medicine. Okay, binoculars. Can I take them? Can I take any of this stuff? Uh, basketball. Wreck. No. Shoes. Let's just go this way. Hey, kid. What? Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Okay, well, I'm Steve. Keyword, Steve. Steve. Are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't want to be, because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Okay. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut it out. I'm telling you the truth. Yes, yeah, Steve. You always were a kid or Steve. Leave me alone. I'm sick. Cowboy show? Have you notice that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... I think I've seen a color television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at okay. that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Shit. Yeah. Yeah. This is part of history. What made America great. Besides, <laughs> Just like Trump wants to. I hope my mic isn't in the shot. Well, you can't stop me, so let me alone. Okay. Or else. Sick. What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look alright to me. I'm not faking. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Okay. Let, let's try school. Okay, why not just tell me where I am? Cause yeah, that's a I? dumb question. Him? Yeah, blah blah. Okay, I don't care about the ending. Bye. Get out of there, you brat. I hope you, I hope I get to kill you at some point. That seems really mean, but I know this game gets really weird. Uh, let's go over there. Hey, kid. Well, hello Lady. there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my, my mom? mother? That's right. Though sometimes okay. I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's yeah. sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. I have a new job? So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M-U-D Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, okay. this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. I don't. Oh, apparently there's something you can type to her as well, so... Uh... Children and people who don't like curse words, you're gonna have to look away. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now that your father is out of action? Um. I remember you being able to type that. I do not remember that response. Yeah, how about it? Maybe later, dear. Right now I have housework to do. So you can watch if you want. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. <laughs> wow. Um, Mom's not above incest. Baked cookies in the trash. I told you I'm busy. Okay, fine. Uh, bye. Don't forget to put the papers out. Yes, papers, blah, examine cookies. What about this little baby? Uh, is there anything to click on in here? 
Now I can walk a little bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay. Hank, you're Is it Look at I don't know. I don't Is know. he really sick? Don't oh. you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. How do you think she'd feel knowing her fiancé was a gutter mouth? I have a fiancé, too. Father. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now, please, let me... Okay, cookies. The bake sale was on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? That doesn't make well, any I sense. Want to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. Okay, I'm gonna eat some, cra some trash cookies. Fine, what whatever. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll this help game is weird. Fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay Dang attention it. to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. What's the Lodge? What Lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. Okay. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process. <laughs> Trademark. <laughs> I never use one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Yeah. That's wonderful, look into it. Steve. What's up with Harvest? harvest? Is a In what? I don't have time. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. Hey, can I say that word to you again? Again, people who don't like cursing, look away. What a thing to say to your mother. Oh, she says, I didn't mean it. You mind your mouth, young man. That's a fine way to talk to your mother and a member. Don't forget to put the papers. So if I say I don't mean it, then you then you find it as an insult. But if I do mean it, then you think that it's okay to have incest. Send me some mixed messages here, mom. Okay, let's let's go. This family's weird. Let's see, can I? That room is firmly locked. Okay, I guess that's where my dad is. I don't think I can take anything in here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure I searched everything. Or I didn't, and I went to click out the door and got some stuff. Uh, pick up quarter? Okay. Are these pills? Okay. Yeah, I got a quarter. Uh, is there anything in the trash can? Okay, that's it's only one drawer of the dresser. Okay. Um, okay, let's, let's leave. Uh, is there anything I can really take? No? Okay, let's leave. Yeah, let's, let's get out of here. What the heck are you? Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? No. Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? Just screw you, Jimmy James! Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? No. How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Jake? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Uh, yes I do. Whoa, that's great. What could you give me? 
You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? No. Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Ooh. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Before I give with the keys, let me see those... First the keys, then the sneakers. Yeah, you little Nuh-uh. brat. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, get it. You don't get the key. See you later, Alan. Okay, fine. I'll get you dang sneakers. Wait, what? Why is there security bars in the house? Phillips head screwdriver. I imagine that means I need something. <laughs> I got with his awkward walk cycle. Um, let's go to the general store. It's right next door. What's up? Debris. Looks like somebody broke in. Okay. Projector, copier. Can I help you, dear? Who are you? Yeah, who are this you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you I don't need know. to go back to Gene Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. So I'm keep, serious. I need people some keep help. saying. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which good to case, get it or good to Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? Don't know. What? I haven't seen him. Care to buy anything today? Is everybody just okay with everybody having sex with each other in this place? This is really weird. Just yes, point please. To whatever you want. Okay, um. Do I have to walk up here and then. What do I want? Uh. Coffee cans, soup cans, coffee cans, cigarette tape, adult magazine, wrench. I want the adult magazine. <laughs> uh, how much does the wrench cost? Slightly used range, you must pay it. Okay. Um, okay, I'll. I, 25 cents. Okay, I have 25 cents, so I think I can get the adult magazine. Um, where is my inventory, though? There's my inventory. Okay, so, uh, here you go. The only thing a quarter will buy you is an adult magazine. I'll take it! A girly magazine? Yeah! Why, Steve, I'm surprised at you. Why? I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis, but never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Well, will you sell me one? But you're okay with having I sex with my will, dad. Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Stares him away from being a fireman. I imagine fireman means gay. I don't know, man. Oh, whoops. I need to... Okay, so I got a girly magazine. And I got a pen. And it's Monday. Okay, I can't buy anything else, so I guess I'll just leave. Yeah, just exit, Steve, or whatever your name is. Post office, barber shop, missile base, lodge. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to try to move the map. Let's go to the post office. See a manhole cover. Are we gonna get to go postal? Yes? I need What's some up? help. Mr. Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? Uh, I'd like a lodge application. I'm sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Dang it. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. 
Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Okay, well... Come on, it wouldn't kill you to make a lousy it's copy. It's not the effort, son. It's the principle. I'll do the we effort and the principle. I don't have principles. They're all that stand between civilization and chaos. I'm okay. sorry, you'll just have really? to come For... back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, How I would I just come across the counter and kick it? The line <laughs> is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. You I'm gonna kick your you ass. Up. How about that? Next time you post, don't forget. How about if I? Son. How about if I swear at you? What happens then? Don't mumble, son. Uh, <laughs> don't mumble, son. Yeah. Step uh, whoops, across the counter. Don't mumble, son. Eh. Next time you post. Shut up. She's reading her mail. Let's go take it from her. Okay, whatever. Let's leave. There's nothing to do here at the moment. At least that I'm aware of. Go to the barber shop. I'll take you to the barber shop. What the heck? <laughs> you have an alien on your... An unfortunate ex extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted to a barber's wall. Yeah, that would suck. Howdy, Steve. Yeah. Hi. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding. What are you talking about? I yeah, really, really think you should talk your father into buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Okay, Pastorelli. Pastorelli's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons. Okay, I don't care. Plumbing? Well. Yeah, something about a little nice exciting. I get it. Hello there, youngster. You say them aliens I was telling you about? Well, they yeah. came back last night. There's one on the wall. Crop circle in my south field. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is widely picked. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. Okay. Pole? Why, that barber brought it all the way over from oh, Italy. Wait, wrapped all special-like. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bulbs just stuck up in it. But he thinks it's the be-all end-all. Install that alarm system just to protect it. The who in turn... Maybe them aliens, Clem. Okay. Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. Them aliens don't give a fig for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barber pole? Maybe. Crazy heck, don't know nothing about science. <laughs> Pete, you're out of your element. Pastorelli. Pastorelli. Alarm system. Pastorelli. Okay. Anytime, Steve. Goodbye, helpful hick, I guess. What's this? I can't talk now, son. I'm busy. Okay. I'm busy playing Anytime, a game. Steve. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can get anything here either, so I guess I go to the lodge. Oh, that was kind of weird that the thing cut out for a second. <laughs> Alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. Somebody should probably fix that then. 
Red eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness. Okay. The initiates may enter the hall of the order. Of the I like Protestant. your voice, sir. Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. Telepathy? But how? Only those who seek enlightenment warrant my attention. Do you hunger for true knowledge? Okay, I'd like to join. There are always obstacles to the path. Okay. You must first fill out an application to be no! considered for initiation <laughs> into the mysteries. Okay, give me an application. Applications to... are available at the post office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you? Yeah. You may find it difficult to obtain an application. <laughs> you will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. How would I just kick your ass and go through there myself? Well, she needs a good, hard penis. What the hell? <laughs> penis. <laughs> penis. What makes you so sure she needs a penis? You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? Like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? He's over at I... DNA's diner every day from noon to one. Eating his dead gum pie. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. Sure, it's the only diner in town. But I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. I'll admit the... Speaking of Stephanie... I don't have... That's okay. Personally, I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. You could use the back seat of my Tucker for the... Maiden voyage. It's plenty big. Believe you me. Why do you I'd want me to have around. sex in the back of your car? And I wouldn't look in the back seat. I guarantee it. Though if you'd like to come up front and take the wheel a while, I wouldn't say nay. Are you trying to bang my wife? Bye now. I'm 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 gonna leave. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave. Goodbye, crazy pervert. I, I don't want to have any more to do with you. Shady Oaks Mortuary? Let's go to the morgue. Why not? It couldn't be any weirder than the rest of this place. Oh, it's got the lodge symbol on it. Great. Candle. Some stuff. An exit. Why is there blood everywhere? Steven. Let's go to the missile base. What the oh. heck happened to you? Who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Oh, right. This is Section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. <laughs> so you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy, the way I see it. But at least you're not an alien. Okay. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? <laughs> Goddamn right they are. Every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! The price of vodka goes through the roof, along with the vodka. Well, I suppose not the vodka. Have, you know, safeguards against accidents. Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the fifties. Then <laughs> you have sole control of the uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW two. Oh boy. I got my lower torso shot off in the war. <laughs> Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They, they be taller owned me. Then. 
I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. That's they put why you they in charge of this nukes. nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missile. <laughs> Why are you? I'm just. I don't get. I keep it on my person all the time. Do you have a bomb on you? No, come. That doesn't that make you feel. No. Come Frankly, bastards. all these questions are making me a little suspicious of you. Maybe you're one of those pink-blooded Americans. Can you give me any reason why I should? Nah, you can shoot me if I you want. I appreciate your honesty, comrade. What the heck? What's going on? I think I lost. Game over, yep. I didn't save at all. Dang it. Okay, let's go to the Potsdam residence this time. Uh, this time we're gonna save though. Uh, let's save it as Reapy. That way I'll remember. <laughs> let's go inside somebody's house. Who are you? There he is, my future son in law. And how's he doing hey, today? Hey. What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? Huh? Just here to bang your daughter. <laughs> oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. What? Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. What? Meat? Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. <laughs> and once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. Okay. There's a picture of meat on your wall. Ah, oh, what's the weird noise? What's Hello, up? Hello, Steve. Have you floss today? Uh, yeah. You look just like my mom except for the hair. Honestly, you, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. What a horrible thing to say. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same kind of dress. Same pearls. So bizarre. There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know. Yeah, and there is. God, You're baking it like... Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted on to do her share. Okay, whatever. Give my regards to your... Okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Sorry. You'll have to ask me... I tried. She just said that I was mean. Hello, dear. Yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded and... Give my regards to your... See, I can go upstairs now. Your wife said it was cool. Is this the room? That was the bathroom. What the heck? She's pretty. <laughs> There's something about sandpaper. It feels like coarse sandpaper. It'd be painful to wipe with this stuff. Ow. Uh, operate toilet. Yeah. Operate wall picture? Hello, Stephanie. I think you forgot to wear pants. But that's okay. Operate medicine cabinet? 
Ooh, what can I take in here? Uh, I don't want that. I don't want this. Can't take this stuff. Give me. Uh, you have a lot of dental floss. Tampon. Okay, I'll take the tampons. Uh, that wasn't going to be the first thing I was going to take. Yeast disinfectant. Uh, oh. Okay, I'll take that. And this. And this. And that. And, uh. Yeah. Can I take this matchbook? Some of these band aids, I'll probably need them later. Okay. Now that I'm through raiding your medicine cabinet. Um, doors closed, won't budge. Hey, Stephanie, Who I just you? saw you almost naked. What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. Yeah. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? You mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Hey, Just me too. Just Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh God, I thought it was just me. Do you believe me off the quick? Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Who are those claim people? To be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Yeah. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, no. but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember anything, but I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing, like a parody. A bad joke with mother as the punchline. Does that make any sense? Yeah. I'm glad. Sure. Okay, I'm bored. Escape. Harvest is a prison, Steve. Of course. Come back and visit. Steve. It's good. Everything. Uh, Mom what are you doing? keeps telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. Okay. Interesting. Maybe if I want answers, I should go right to the source and get a membership application. That's yeah. probably the worst thing you could do. You think the lodge is some kind of trap? Probably. I think all of Harvest is a trap. If that's true. Maybe joining the lodge is the way out. Look, maybe. Why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really afraid of the lodge. I look at mm -hmm. that building. Yeah, okay, we already saw that. Come back and visit me. If it isn't my favorite. So what do I got in my inventory now? I've got... You know, put the vitamins down. Cough medicine. Oh wait, what do we got here? We got aspirin, cough medicine, vitamins, tampons, jar of Oralube, and adult magazine. Yeah, I think I can make this work. <laughs> Appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a park car or a waist high knot hole in a tree or jail cell at noon. Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them French postcard girly picture books. If you <laughs> can get any, you see clear to part with them. Bring them around when the sheriff's at lunch and I'd be obliged. Yeah, okay. I'm kiddo. So I can give you the girly. Whoops, I didn't mean to leave. So I can give that guy the girly magazine and then. Oh, hey, Sheriff's gone. I meant to go outside. Here you go, buddy. Oh. Have fun fapping. Oh. <laughs> by George. Oh, by Jiminy. Oh, here's the 
real thing. Oh, can I have it? I don't want it anymore. Oh, oh thank you, Steve. Excuse me, kiddo. I gotta go check the jail for clean towels. <laughs> this is all very uncomfortable. Drawers unlocked, okay. Uh, I'll just take that, and uh, I'll take this, and I'll take uh, that. And that looks like a cell phone, can I take that? Okay, what did I grab? <laughs> oh, I grabbed... Man. Sheriff's checkbook. Okay, so I can look at it. Okay, I can't really read it too well. Just see deposit, boil, deposit, boil, deposit, check, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I got evidence room key and a note. What does the note say? Sheriff, if you think I'm going to keep playing or paying this forever, you are crazy. There are limits. Boyle. Okay, so sheriff's been blackmailing Boyle, I guess. Okay, so I gotta use that key on one of these doors. Yeah, let's, let's pick the right door and not get to the room where the guy's fapping. Ooh. Hat. Sneakers. I can take the sneakers! I can take this gas can. Can't take the Santa hat. Dang it. What's this? Camera? I'll take that. <laughs> Hi, my name's Steely, and I'm just gonna come in here and take this stuff, okay? What is this? Engine? Bottle? Hello, Steve. Where's Loomis? What's up? Coming around. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Loomis, have you? Wait, no, 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 no! Don't. Cleaning up the mattress again. Folding up the towels. No, I can't. No, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna leave now. I, uh, you guys can just, uh... Yeah, uh... Continue on what you were doing, officers. Then why are you sketching nude men in your fire department? It's not the subject, it's the process! Don't be <laughs> such a party. <laughs> we're talking about art. That is a sexy-looking butt right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna wander into a classroom. Yo, kids, what's up? My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. What's wrong okay. with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Steven. Discipline. Thank goodness you weren't a sulky bear. You were always a smiley bear. Then you remember me? Yeah, maybe Not I got such. beat so bad so by this teacher I can't remember anything. Go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? Not really. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Steven, have you any questions for me? Okay. Or shall I continue with class? Yes, Ask do. With. We don't corporal practice punishment. corporal punishment here. I've never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. 
A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? That bridges the generation gap quite nicely. Oh dear, Colonel Monroe is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the... If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? My stars, that was exciting. You just beat a child to dead! Yeah, okay, everybody, we're back. I had to go do a thingy, but... Don't worry about it. I got, I got stuff, and I gotta give it to somebody, and I don't know why. You've shut your mouth off about Sheriff Dwayne blackmailing me. Not a smart what? thing to do, given that Dwayne carries a gun. Anyone who can't keep a secret has no business joining the lodge, my friend. Give me a chance to make it up to you. It's too late for that. Hear the wheat rustle in the wind. You sure you don't want your blackmail Next time setback? You Cause I got it. Here you go, buddy. What does this mean? <laughs> what do you think it means? I know why the sheriff is blackmailing mm -hmm. you. This is unexpected and awkward. Really? But my luck's been bad ever since Dwayne found that darn gas can at the newspaper building the day after the fire. He has this insane notion that it's mine. I pay him, not because I'm guilty, but because I don't want him slurring my good name around Harvest. Oh, naturally. Of course. You know, he keeps that gas can in the evidence room at his office. I'd be really grateful to whoever could fetch me that can. Grateful enough to provide him with a lodge mm. application. Oh, and Steve, you'll keep this. T yes. So, uh, just so happens that oh I God. have that gas I can. can't believe it. After all this time. Where's my application, Boyle? Gimme, gimme. Here, take it. With my thanks. You know, this morning as I was making my rounds, I noticed an awful lot of television aerials on the roofs. Seems like more and more each day. You... What do you mean? There's another reason why Sheriff Duane didn't investigate the Sentinel fire. Oh, if yeah. you'd like to get something else on the blackmailing bastard, check around the television station. Why are you still camp? Okay. Um... Uh, let's go turn in my application first. That's a ticket. There we go. I just had to write my application I down. Here you, you go. I managed to acquire an application. Yes, I did. That demonstrates resourcefulness, a desirable trait for prospective members. Thank you. You need a rest. Report back here. Uh, okay. Getting naked. Ooh, look at that sexy body. Also, I don't entirely believe that you're 18. <laughs> what do you people want from me? Welcome to our world. going on okay this is weird so is it Tuesday I think it's Tuesday Probably. Okay, I'm gonna save the game and uh, leave it here. This game has been really weird and really cool. Um, 
Yeah, anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys have been having a good day, keep on having a good day. If you guys have been having a bad day, I hope this video made your days a little bit better. I hope to see all of you guys next time. Till then, stay cool and bye.